Hi, I'm Mike Gibson, and this is Expat in Russia. I lived in Russia for 27 years, and I totally love this place. So I thought I'd share some Russian stories with you. This is a big country with a big heart and big stories to tell. Moscow never sleeps, so tonight we'll discover what we can do in this incredible city. The first question is how to get around Moscow at night. There are loads of options. Firstly, walk. Moscow at night is lively and life doesn't really stop after the sun has set. The darker the night, the brighter the lights of this metropolis. This city is magnificent. It has strength, grandeur and character. But at night, Moscow reveals itself only to those who really seek it out. It's our bus! Moscow has a lot of night buses that run all around the city or through the night. It's an incredibly great service. There are about 30 night bus routes in Moscow. On a comfy bus, you can drive around the garden ring as well as get to other areas of the city. So we're going to Tverskaya, and here is Red Square. Ooh. And the metro works until one o'clock in the morning and takes you right into the center. Ta-da! The center of Moscow has many 24-hour cafes, bars, nightclubs, and shops. Here we are in the center of Moscow on Tverskaya, a lively street that never sleeps. And here is Respublika, a bookshop, and much, much more. And they also never sleep. Respublika is a chain of bookstores. Their flagship store works around the clock 24-7. This store opened in 2006 and quickly became popular with Muscovites. Место такое вот у нас очень удачное, практически в центре Москвы, и сюда очень удобно зайти как днем, так и ночью. Тоже насладиться атмосферой, что-то приобрести, по дороге на работу, может быть, забежать где-нибудь часов в 6 утра, потому что вспомнил, что забыли купить подарок. Республика Bookshop has two floors crammed with books, unusual and original gifts, and even music. У нас, собственно, на первом этаже собрана художественная литература, mm -hmm. как новинки, так и абсолютные бестселлеры. Присутствует, соответственно, классика. Есть современная русская, современная зарубежная. Фантастика тоже у нас есть на первом этаже. Детективы, конечно mm -hmm. же, люди любят детективы. There is so much of interest that you could easily spend the whole night here. На да. втором этаже у нас уже присутствует раздел кулинария. Mm -hmm. Потрясающими книжками есть как на русском, так и на английском языке. Но тоже одна из таких гордостей это большая секция а, арта. Это вот книги, посвященные искусству, да, здесь, искусству да. живописи, mm -hmm. архитектуры. Республика has second-hand vinyl for sale, and it's incredible. Some of the stuff that people bring in uh, and uh, want to sell, it's amazing. The Moody Brothers. I mean, how the heck does that sound? <laughs> We're just going to try it. There are several night events held in Moscow, especially during the summer. For example, there is a night marathon for running enthusiasts. And once a year, the Night of the Museums Festival takes place in Moscow. This is the 16th year of the Night in the Museums Festival, which is taking place in federal and city museums, as well as in libraries and parks. Just look at how many people are queuing to get inside Gestvar. This is a cool new art space in the center of Moscow, a converted power station. Very pure sound to this installation. Also during Night of the Museum, I managed to visit the Gogol Memorial Museum. So here we are at the Gogol Museum and it's almost one o'clock in the morning. Something very special and intimate about visiting this wonderful museum in the middle of the night. This is a great place to come and learn everything about the life and work of the great writer. Look, perhaps this is the very fireplace in which Gogol burned the second part of his famous book, Dead Souls. It's known that he burned it in this very house. And this room is full of reflections on Gogol's books. 
Morning is still a long way off and there are still many unusual places worth visiting in Moscow. And one of these places is an old favorite of mine. Follow me. This fantastic place in Moscow in the middle of the night where you can get Turkish kufta and they are so delicious. Hi. That's it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you got wow, your kufta. It's great. <laughs> Super. Приятного аппетита. Kufta is a traditional Turkish dish prepared from lamb or ground beef with loads of herbs and spices and wrapped in unleavened bread. Oh, спасибо. That's Russian hospitality for you. So we've just turned up and we've been given this as a gift. Спасибо. <laughs> really, very nice. Welcome to Russia. Da, da, da. Спасибо. Success, I've got one. As you know, I was treated by Iga. So we're going to try this. Mm. Oh my God. That is so good. Mm. Is it tasty? Oh my God, it's so tasty. It's очень вкусный. And this place is like so alive and full of energy. It's just fantastic. Mm. Mm. Um, so we're now on the garden ring and um, literally it's the earlier hours of the morning. And as you can see, the traffic is actually still pretty heavy. So a lot of cars around. Flowers, 24 hours, shops, still a lot of stuff open, bars and clubs and cafes, of course. There's still so much life in the streets. There is this incredible energy and buzz about Moscow, and you can really feel that during the night. There are other helpful services available in Moscow through the night. For example, you can register your car up until 2 a.m. with some of the departments of the Moscow traffic cops. Uh, this one or this one? Wow, this is flower heaven. In Moscow, giving flowers is a big deal. There are flower shops literally on every street corner because you always turn up for parties, birthday occasions, weddings with a bunch of flowers. And sometimes you might just go home with three or five little flowers. Also in Russia, you must always give uneven numbers of flowers. This place is great. So my wife has been looking for some hanging plants. Just happened to find them in the middle of the night in Moscow. You can also go to the cinema throughout the night in Moscow. Many cinemas show movies in the early hours. So I've come to the Pioneer Cinema, a delightful old Soviet cinema built in 1957, and they show movies all night. The Pioneer is my absolute favorite cinema in Moscow. As well as having a fabulous interior, the Pioneer shows movies in the original language with subtitles. This is really a fantastic place to come and watch a movie. I don't have much time during the day to watch films. So I come here late tonight and I come to see the film Boiling Point, which is about a crazy English chef. It looks really good. So that's our film Boiling Point and it's literally the middle of the night. Sometimes I've left the cinema like at three or four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so here we are in the cafe of the Pioneer Cinema and it works until late at night and has the best borscht in the world. It's like a complete program of yumminess. When the hectic day is over and dusk descends on Moscow, sometimes it's worth forgetting about going to bed and spending the whole night in a city that never sleeps. At the end of a long night, what do you need most? A good hearty breakfast. I've been to this place so many times. They do a tip-top delicious breakfast here. And even at dawn, there are loads of visitors. <sighs> good hot cup of coffee. Mm. The sun is already coming up on Moscow and people are still out on the town. There's loads of energy in the air. We hope you really enjoyed our program and we'll come back and watch us again. And please do subscribe to the link down below. Bye. And big sorry. <laughs>